Oh, Zoe. <laughs> there we go. This was Zoe. Oh! oh it's not so good, and we must address this issue. <laughs> morning everybody happy sunday i have had the most sunday sunday morning <laughs> alfie went to one of otty's clubs this morning so they were doing that and whilst he was gone i was like right i've got a tiny spurt of energy so i'm gonna try and do as much house tidying and chores as i possibly can unloaded the dishwasher put dishwasher <laughs> dishwasher put the dishwasher on did a hand wash of all the things that need to be hand washed cleaned all the kitchen surfaces cleaned in here um put a wash load on of otty's clothes basically just tried to do as much as i could which isn't as much as i normally can but it's it was a it was a good effort considering i am pregnant so the house is looking much tidier mm. who's mummy talking to Sean and Poppy. Is that who I'm talking to? Yeah. Um, and now we're about to head out to the garden centre. I've not bothered with um, doing anything to my face this morning uh, because we're only nipping out quickly. But Poppy and Sean are there and they were like, hey guys, we're nipping to the garden centre if you fancy joining us. So we're going to put our shoes on and we're going to get out. I'd quite like to buy some new plants for the kitchen. Alfie's rolling his eyes at me. I just feel like we need some new greenery for I'm a bit of zen. Yeah, no, I do completely agree. But our kitchen gets so hot in summer that I don't think anything... I know, but what we need to look at, like, what does well in, like, in warm. <laughs> in a, yeah, in tropical climates, tropical basically. Plants. But also I just, I feel like buying plants from the garden centre makes my soul really happy. And when I see them in the kitchen, yeah. I love Getting it. Getting new house plants. Is yeah, disgusting. it's fun. So I think that's the aim. We're going to go see Poppy and Sean, get some new house plants. It's absolutely chucked it down with rain this morning. So I don't know what the playground's going to look like. Not that Otty will care, to be quite honest with you. Rain doesn't bother you, does it? Bit of wet, never hurt no one. I also can't find my sunglasses, so... I bag chic is um is what we're going for this morning i also really need to wash my hair so the slip back pony is making more and more appearances <laughs> as the days go on just know it's not a hairstyle that i'm doing out of choice it's a hairstyle that i'm doing out of necessity um can i just go and get something otty thank you i just like to go and get my phone thank you very much we've walked straight into the garden center and gone straight to meet poppy and sean in the restaurant because Ooh. food right now is the priority. Yeah. Me and Sean have the same pair of trousers and we keep wearing them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we keep wearing them at the same time. And Poppy has that bag, so I should have worn that. I've got the same t-shirt on as you. Have you? Yes, it's the same white They're great t-shirts. But also, the funniest part about this is, I bought these on Arquette. You need to do the turn I know, I do. I bought these on Arquette and Sean bought them on H&M. Yeah. And they are Literally the exact the same, same the trousers, top, like, top but you paid so much less yeah, than I did. Like tenor, or like <laughs> Trouser hack. You got done. Buy them on H and M, not on Arquette. But they yeah, are, they're they so are comfy. comfy. Oh, when it's Otis when it's really hot. Yeah, to be fair, Otty's okay. vibing almost the same. Oh, the sun's gone in now. Oh God. <laughs> like, it's like you're gonna do a karate thing, chop. One thing I'm really not good at being calm around is a wasp. Oh, there it is. <laughs> See? <laughs> is it still there? No. no. Yeah. Why did it land on me? <sighs> Ordered myself a little kid size English breakfast, which hit the spot. It's not Perfectly. Even that much bigger than mine, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, Sean got the adult size and it isn't much different. Did have to share a little bit of it with Otty, even though she had her own. And Alvy and Poppy have had like. Ugh. Is there another wasp? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. There was. I'm sort of saying yes. Yeah, but by the time you say yes, it's already over there. <laughs> Alvy and Poppy ordered like the world's biggest jacket potatoes. They, they look amazing. Beans, beans and cheese <laughs> with a potato. Bucket of beans. Oh my god, these wasps. I totally jinxed us, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, there's no wasps this side. 
but it must be so bad that time. We're looking oh, at the fishies. Oh, look at these. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, look at that big one. Massive. Oh, oh, water, that water. That's just water. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> look at these ones. Oh, oh, get them. That's amazing. Up here. Up here. Look at those. Which ones are your favourite? That one. That one. Up there. The little guppy ones. Otty love that, does she? Look at the little one. What did she say? Poppy, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, look, Otty, this one's hiding. Can you see? Careful. Oh, Otty. Say hi, Tissue. What's that? Eating it? Yeah. Can I swim with them? One day you can go snorkeling. Oh, <laughs> you dancing for them? <laughs> We're doing houseplants. Pick up one. The one we already have in the kitchen, is it like this? I don't know. I don't think it's like that. I think it's more like this one, no? Or is that in the toilet upstairs, the bathroom? Yeah, we don't want to go too big, otherwise it will block light. Yeah, so I think these are fine. And then... The Do we need some in the the little bucket bit in the kitchen? Yes. And, you know, we've got that planter that's got like one, two, two three, three. we're missing. Two of, there's two, but there's one missing. So we kind of want a smallish, like this guy would be good. Also, I love these because they never die. Never? No. Say never. I've never killed one. I've got one that we had in our old house. And still. it's got a new branch growing, yeah, that's a good one. most Sunday Sunday I've had in a really long time <laughs> but now I am going to tackle this chair clothes pile of otties some of it's dirty some of it's clean it just needs to be put away so I'm gonna do that because I need to tidy her room basically it just gets messy so quickly <laughs> t-shirt goes really well in Otty's room <laughs> I blend in so everything is tidy all the clothes are put away I feel like I've had a really good session in here one thing I do want to put back up in here is her little teepee we'll be using it to read books in and it was quite a nice like part of the bedtime routine and then I think we put it outside one day and we just never brought it back into the bedroom there's not really anywhere else in here we can put it except for in front of these windows which stay blacked out anyway we've got blackout blinds well we've got blackout velcro i feel like i need to share this hack with you oh my chin looks really sore it's not it's just really red from previous spots i feel like i need to share this hack with you if you've got awkward windows or you already have like shutters so like a roller blackout blind doesn't really work but like shutters kind of still let light in it's a whole thing <laughs> But Otty's pretty good, like she'll nap in the daytime, it doesn't need to be dark at all, but at night time, Otty's thing is, if it's light at 5am, she's ready to start the day. So for us, we like it blacked out at night because it keeps it dark in the morning, so she'll just sleep, keep sleeping. And one of the ways we got round this was we ordered Velcro on Amazon, just like a roll of Velcro, and then we ordered this, which is like, let me show you it's like blackout material 
So it's silver on one side and black on the other. And it's got a grid on it, so it's like easy to cut. And then we basically just made three of these to, to fit the window panels perfectly. And yes, it was a bit of a faff to do originally, like it did take us a bit of time, but since then we've not had to adjust anything, we've not had to do anything else. We've been using these for about a year, I wanna say, and it's been perfect. And then every day we just rip one panel off just to let some light in and it works great. It also just keeps the room a bit cooler because the sun doesn't blare in. This room gets a lot of sunlight, so on hotter days, it can get really, really warm. And it also means we can like open this window and get some air in if we need to. But let me just show you kind of, it's like hard to explain, but what I mean by we have blinds and there was no way we could get roller blinds. Also, I feel like roller blinds, you still get like a stream of light coming in either side. So like, yes, they're blackout blinds, but do they make the room that dark, not really, <laughs> not in my experience. So we've got quite old windows and we've got three small square panels up here and then just like three rectangular ones here. So we open this blind, there's one in action. As you can see, there's a tiny bit, but you can kind of push it down and it does look very dark at night. Because we've got the Velcro on here, and then we've got the Velcro on here, which you can't really see. And then you just do this. And it stays on and across here. Look at that. It's basically the only thing we found that actually makes the room dark. And then when you've done all of this, we still shut this and shut that. And then we pull that and it's pretty much completely dark. So I don't know if any of you are watching and you've found that helpful or it's a solution for you, but it worked amazingly for us. We just put this on and off each day. And there we go. How did I get onto that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I wanna put the teepee back. Oh, it's because these were shut. These are always shut, so it doesn't really matter that the teepee's in front of this. We could put it here, where this chair is, but I feel like Otty will be really sad if we take the chair out of her room. So this is where it was before, it's gonna go back. <laughs> There we go, much better. And in case anyone's interested, we also have this cute little kind of like night light that we put on in the tent. And these, I don't know why, but I love seeing what other people's toddlers are really enjoying reading. I don't know, I just find it really fascinating like what their favorite books are. These are currently Otty's go-tos at bedtime. These are the ones we are reading on repeat. This, she's just loved since she was tiny. I think it's like her comfort book. She can literally read it word for word. This one, she also is really into at the minute. Peppa Pig, My Mummy. This one, Whatever Next by Jill Murphy. I remember reading this as a kid, so it actually brings me a lot of joy reading it to Ottie. It's just, it's very cute. And it's also like really easy. I feel like anything more than this on one page doesn't hold her attention as much but this is like a really good, it's a really good uh, sizable story. This is mine and Alfie's absolute nemesis. <laughs> we hate reading her this, but she loves it. It's just quite wordy. There's a lot to it, but she loves it. So sometimes we, we, we get the gist of the story, but sometimes we do just cut bits out and keep it a bit more, a bit shorter because it's a long old story, this one. Oi Frog is a new favorite. I think it's because it's rhyming and it's quite repetitive. Obviously kids love. Absolutely balmy, <laughs> but also very cute. This one she likes at the minute. It's called The Hug. It's about a tortoise. No one will hug him because his shell is too hard. And on the other side, the hedgehog, no one will hug the hedgehog because the hedgehog is too prickly. And when you read both stories, they meet in the middle and have a big hug. And it's really cute because they can hug each other. This one I think is probably Otty's favorite book out of every book ever, ever, ever. This is called So Much. It's actually a book that Alfie's mum used to read to Poppy and Alfie. And Amanda and Nick actually introduced Otty to this book because obviously Alfie and Poppy used to read it with Amanda. 
and Otty knows every word to this book. It is so adorable. It's about all of the family members arriving and the door going and like who's it gonna be and everyone wanting to hug him and kiss him and then they throw a surprise, surprise party for the dad at the end. And then this one is the Princess Bedtime Sound Storybook, <laughs> which she also loves. She doesn't listen to the stories, she just likes pointing at people and saying who they are. So yeah, those are Otty's top bedtime reads right now. I would love to know what your toddler is currently Hi. loving. We've got visitors! Hello! Uncle hello. Jojo and Auntie Dot! Hello. And apparently, where's, where's the other Auntie Dot? How do you say hello like Mr Tumble? Hello! Hello. <laughs> We're playing with some toys! Joe actually does a the best toy in the box. Surprisingly wow. Does he ever do this at home, Diane? He does it a lot. <laughs> he talks to That's great. Like, Mr. Tumble. Like, like Mr. Tumble. Like Mr. Tumble. In weird no, voices. Like Mr. Tumble, like any any character. <laughs> I'm like, are you talking to someone? Like, no, I'm one. just talking. Oh wow, it's a finger puppet. <laughs> oh, what's this? Okay, let me pop it on my finger. Now you have to do the Mr. Tumble voice. Oh! <laughs> oh, she's saying that's you. She's saying this is Dot. Oh, there's To be fair, when she went through the box, she got it out and said Dot. Yeah. Anything with red hair, I wouldn't take offence. No. It's quite cute, really. It's quite cute. I do like. <laughs> I actually have a little face like that, I feel. That I feel like I said in my video yeah. that that one is a cute looking one. Some of them don't look that, that cute. That one is very cute. And look, I've even got the same same boots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like me and Joe are having like more fun. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sat here playing Polly Do you know how many of my friends have messaged me like, I'm coming round so I'm I can play with either. the Polly Pocket? I only ever had like one, I think, and like one little doll because I just never got Maybe much more than that. We've so stood on quite a lot over the last couple of days. This is like dreamy. Oh, the big alien came. Is <laughs> it ready? Oh. Otty, do this. Ready? Alien! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> One of the things I thought it would be very fun to do with Joe at some point. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how are you doing today? <laughs> that is actually how I look sometimes. For some reason, I've said this a million times, but I keep everything. I'm like Miss Sentimental. I'm, I mean, I'm surrounded by old toys from the yeah, 90s. Literally. And I've got loads of mine and Joe's reports. I don't know why I have all of yours. But I kind of love that I've got them because it yeah. means you've not lost them. <laughs> I've got a load in my loft as well. Have you? And I think some of yours as well. That's funny. So basically I've got a lot of Joe's report cards. So if you're not aware of what a report card is, every single year all your teachers will like mark you for like behaviour, attendance, and I guess like how good you are at the subject. And they'll also give like a comment about you in that subject. And Joe and I, I would say we were pretty like average school kids we didn't really stand out we didn't really like to stand out no, we I wanted to get our work done we no, enjoyed school we, we enjoyed school but we were we were quite good i, we were, good I would say we were good but i would say we didn't like behavior wise oh we were I'd in the background we were yeah we, we were wallflowers we, were quiet, yeah. <laughs> we wanted to watch everyone else so i thought it'd be really fun to have alfie read our report cards and read out like uh, a segment that's either Joe or I and we've got to decide who he's talking about and I think it's gonna be quite difficult because Joe and I as I just said I think we were pretty similar in school we even did similar subjects I would say things like English maths and science we were probably I wasn't very good at maths maths was out of those three I would say English was our top one Sorry, the Virgo me is I have to tidy these <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad you are, to be honest, because it means I don't have to. Joe's just tidying up. This is what having kids is like. How, many, yes. how often do you have to tidy up toys? Oh, because you could be doing it all day if you really wanted to. Yeah, see, this is a good But you issue. don't. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you want and to, though, you're on, more than welcome to come around. Step on a polly pocket, and yeah. that's why I say that. You're more than welcome to come around and do this anytime you like. Yeah, I would say maths, English, and science, we were probably about the same. I was good at science. I was better at English. You were good was, at English. I, I, but in primary school, I couldn't spell. That'd be the difference. You could spell, I couldn't spell. I read a lot more than you. Yeah. Maths. What did you get for maths in GCSE? I got C. 
I got a B. Yeah, so you're better at maths. Yeah, but am I? How are you that good at maths? I don't know. I think I just revised a lot. <laughs> because, because, yeah, I'm not good at maths now. I'm really glad you're doing that because I thought you were going to just chuck them in the box. I was like, no, nah, he's a Virgo, you wouldn't I'm do that. Surprised. I'm surprised you're allowing Otty to play all these positions. I have had a few moments if of she, panic. If she ripped that tummy like, box, I would freak out. Yeah. Anyway, Alfie's doing that now. We'll probably put Otty down and then film it because then we can yeah. chill. Ariel. Stop throwing mud. Bedtime story is courtesy of Stop Uncle Jojo and Auntie Dot tonight. Ariel's sisters have been relaxing in the palace spa. Look, I'm... Yeah, blue's better actually because it's like the sea. Yeah. Why don't you tell Granny and Grandpa Pig how to play it? You can tell so... You look like almost twins. Do you look related? Yes. Really? Joe's got a much better tan than me. Yeah, your eyes Wait, are very Wait, move over this way a bit. Well. Yeah, okay. don't you think? Like, You've got small eyes so... and your eyebrow shape. It's your, your shape of your eyebrows, the shape of your really? face. Really? I've like, never touched my eyebrows. Zoe, you've both of you, though, the done stuff to your eyebrows. You, you, you creep done past the twins. Easy. <laughs> I'm taller now. You've done stuff to your eyebrows. <laughs> right, okay, Alfie, hit us with the first one. I mean, overarching, obviously, they're all really positive. Yeah. I've just picked moments that are like, okay. might be not the most bright. Right. People are gonna watch this like, oh, you little shits potentially. Yeah. Like everything is like, just the ideal student and stuff. Oh. Okay. Oh. More of what, that. Me or Joe? <laughs> yeah. I'll just read it out and then you have to guess who it is, what kind of age you are. Whatever. Okay. If it's triple jump, it was me. <laughs> I, was, I was, believe it or not. But I like the high jump. I was very good at triple jump. I was good kid. at high jump. That wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Was and it I not? know everything now. I've just read every single school report you've both had. And no triple jump. Everyone just imagine this, me doing the high jump. <laughs> <laughs> you, never, you never did the high jump. I bloody did. A triple jump. In no, PE. It wasn't in one imagine, report. Imagine Zoe just doing PE in general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> physical air. Anything physical. This one I feel is just the most fitting to start with. X has had the opportunity to use the scanner and is showing a good understanding of the internet <laughs> and its value. That I think that would be you. The scanner. Internet scanner. Yeah, but let's think about that. That's got to be primary school because scanners were a thing. In no, we didn't have school. internet in primary school. Yeah, I did. Well, they must be Zoe because I don't remember that. Surely but I'm not. Like, they're not going to praise you for scanning something in secondary school, I never school, was fussed they? about a scanner. So let's say me. I, we, had, we had an Epson scanner at home, remember that? Remember yeah. the scanner we used to have? That's got to be me and that's primary school. This was Joe in year three. <gasps> in year oh. three! Oh, see, I was destined to be a YouTuber. <laughs> so you're like, we didn't have the internet. Oh my god. What's year three? That's seven. Year th I was seven and I was knocking about the internet. It? You understood the internet and its value. And you love scanning. There see, I was before my time. <laughs> I love to scan. Oh my I must have loved to scan. That's wow. so funny. X is a popular X, but they must be careful not to be easily influenced by those around them. That could be... I, that feels like me. That feels like me my whole school life. That feels like me my whole school life yeah, too. I was so 50, 50. influenced by whoever I was with. I feel like both of us are like that. Yeah, I'm gonna say me. I'm gonna say you in, and like year seven or something. I'm gonna give you another hint. Yeah. Yeah. The exact same report but a year later. X is a popular X with several friends but X never lets this interfere with their concentration in class which is commendable. So, so whoever it was took it took on the feedback. It's Somebody me. Took it on. It was me because I remember. I don't know because if I was that would be from year that'd be secondary school. I feel like, but I feel like you're you've got more of a chance of them calling you popular. I don't feel like I was really that popular. But I was like a proper nerd up till like year nine. I was playing tag in year Did eight. Say the years that these were. Yeah. yeah, that must be year seven and eight. Year four and five. Primary school. Oh damn. Oh what? God. Is there even a popular person in primary school? Read that, I'm gonna say it's Joe. It must be Joe. Yeah, because yeah, it'll be You're me, easily influenced. Been, I'm easily influenced too. Because it'll be like. me hanging around with you might have to bleep out the name. <laughs> 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 and this was Zoe. Oh, oh my god. god. Who are you hanging around? How many times you got called popular? Really? All of your things. Why do I not feel like I was in school so though? That is so popular funny. by the teachers. Po yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the teachers thought I was. Oh, damn. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> After a lacklustre start, X oh. is beginning to settle into A-level class. 
Written work has become more detailed and more effort has clearly gone into essays. Consistency is key here. That might be me because I said to you earlier I hated. Is this psychology? I feel like this has got to be psychology. We both did psychology at A-level, but you did way better than me. I didn't I... start off lacklustre. If I did, I want, I want to find out who wrote that and have a word with them. My I essays was... were terrible when yeah. I first started psychology. I wasn't the best at writing. I used to use a PEE chain, remember? Point example, Explain. no, point example explanation. Yeah, so did I, but I was rubbish at it. I look back at my old work now and think, I, I've just actually used my brain properly. <laughs> I could write something that's so much better now, like more endearing. So who me. are we saying? Who had a lacklustre start? Me, it's got to be me. I didn't have a lacklustre start. This is 2009, Joe in media studies. Oh! <laughs> oh! Was it Miss Basley or Mrs. White? Your A-level. Miss Basley. <laughs> it was Miss Basley or Mrs. White. Do you want me to find it? Yeah, find out who that was. I'm going to have to go and grab a battery. <laughs> My battery's so flashing. That's so funny. A lacklustre start? Here we go. This is from... I love how you're like, Miss I Basley. wouldn't have a lacklustre start. <laughs> Miss Basley. Miss <laughs> Basley. You were my favourites as well, Miss Basley. Yeah, but do you know, sometimes I think teachers do that because they know your she potential. She does say the creative and practical part of the course is about to begin and Joe should shine now. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I, was, I didn't like all the writing stuff. Yeah, I did. In didn't. media studies, the theory and stuff, I already knew it. It's more, I just wanted to get out there and make zombie movies. Yeah. X produced some excellent work last year and achieved a much deserved something grade. I don't want to give it away. X's piece of work this year is not so good and we must address this issue. <gasps> X must speed up their work rate and manage their time carefully in the next few weeks. They're quite behind with their work. Oh! That's got to be me. That is that is art and that is coursework. Yeah, but I was exact same. We did stuff at the last I minute. I left my art yeah. course for the day. Yeah. But I'm going to say it's yeah. you. Because I had, I had Miss <laughs> Smith and Miss Smith would never throw me under the bus like that. That's me. Uh, Alfie's now checking his teacher. <laughs> I don't want to see the name of the teacher. That's me and that's Mrs. McCarthy. 2010. Hmm? That's me. It's, it's coursework. It's GCSE. No. Joe and It's art. me. <gasps> Who was the teacher? Oh Miss Cole or something like that? Oh, Miss Coombe. Yeah. Oh, I never had that. Oh, to be fair, was it Miss Coombe? Miss Coombe's? Ah. Oh. Savage. But what was it? It's, it's a It was good great start. last year and now yeah. it's not. No, but that's true. Because by the end of the, by the end of like sixth form, I was like, I'm done with this. But I still have, <laughs> but I still have dreams. And also, <laughs> actually no, second year I did a project on that's Banksy. Really cool. I'm do I'm never going to see you in the same way now, Joe. I did a pro second year, I did a project on Banksy, and I ended up, the piece of artwork that I did is still on the wall of R Block to this day. It might have gone by now, but it wasn't on the wall of R Block. To be so, fair, on the wall of R Block. I left a long lasting impression on that school of my artwork, so for them to say that. To be fair, you got an A in and art. I did get an A as well. So. Could have got an A star. You did listen. I just want to point out, my work rate dipped in the second year <laughs> of A level. <laughs> Because you've got to remember, <laughs> Joe's gutted. Second year of remember, second year of A level is when everyone was turning eighteen. Everyone's going out. We were going a out. Life. We were going out and getting drunk and and Kissing. do you know what I mean? Well, not me, but everyone else. I was just stood in the corner <laughs> watching. Not that sounds weird. <laughs> X's homework record is very poor this year, and X should aim to complete all the tasks that are set in the future, as they are an important element of this course. And then it says, yes. cause for concern. <gasps> that's me. I was not good no, at that. No, I think I remember getting a cause for concern. That's art and that's that's me. Okay, I'll, I'll agree. So Year 11. Art. Yeah, Zoe. And Zoe in maths. Oh. <laughs> See, that's bad. Art, yeah. art's fine. Hey, I got maths. a B. I got a B. I'm happy it's with that. Still better than what I got. <laughs> that's I was so in the naughty. Funny. What set were you in for maths? Two. I See, wasn't the oh, top class. I was in set three. So you were one below. And I remember, because the other day, the person who did it, reminded me of it, took my shoe off in class and threw it out the window of our block. And I had to go oh, down. Oh, yeah, I had yeah, to yeah. go down with one shoe on to go and collect it. And the head of year go, um, was like, why are you walking around with one shoe on? I said, so-and-so threw it. I didn't blame him, but I said someone threw my shoe out the Isn't window. Is there a One Direction lyric about walking around with just one shoe? Throw a shoe out the window. That's a One Direction walking lyric. It's like one. walking around with just one shoe. I'm, I'm half, half and half without you. you. That song. <laughs> That's Joe. That song was written about me. <laughs> I think. Well. X is the most pleasant and reliable member of the group. Joe. Me. Someone in year eleven. Yeah. In PE. 
Oh, Joe, that's not me. Zoe in badminton. <laughs> <laughs> Every, I like badminton. Every yeah. report, every report, every report talked about Zoe playing badminton. Oh, really? Every report. I'm not gonna lie, didn't I say when so I met you? So your underarms were weaker than your overarms. This year you learned how to serve. Oh yeah, I was good at badminton, really? guys. Yeah. It was like the one P I actually enjoyed. Well, she clearly enjoys playing badminton with her friends. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Do you know what though? Mum's good at badminton. Maybe that's why. So I think it runs in the family. Yeah. Why did I never take anything up with that? <laughs> you should. It was never too late. Exactly. I reckon you should get into badminton. Yeah. X is very much a borderline student. X must avoid chatting about unrelated topics and always asking for help when they're unsure. That's me. But I'm the same. I do it now. A I always... very borderline student. Borderline that's student. Me. That's you me. picked all bad ones. <laughs> Except for the badminton, which is Zoe. Ninety-nine percent of it is lovely. Yeah, I think one. that's me. I was way too chatty. This is GCSE, and this is me. Yeah, I wasn't chatty. I was, and I do that now, don't I? Am yeah, I wasn't really that bad. chatty. When we have meetings, I chat. About yeah, but I stuff. waffle. Don't, don't don't I just talk about random stuff? I'm the yeah. same. I could just talk you and talk. You tell and talk. people things. That you I overshare. Do. I overshare. Yeah. Really, like the person who delivers our stuff, you tell them your life story. Yeah, yeah I'm the same. It's only in year 11 science. I told you, year 11. Yeah. The only one last comment I just saved separate to the side was reception that says, Zoe likes to play with her dolls and swimming. Oh, oh, that's that's, oh, oh my god, that is Otty. Oh. Well, I was like that too. I like playing with dolls and swimming. No, I didn't. Did I? I hate swimming. Yeah, to be fair, that was probably very short lived because after that I did not enjoy Do you remember the swimming pool in the primary school yeah, outside? It was horrible. That was fun. <laughs> what did we learn? Um, we learned that you've got, you can't take certain things for granted because this actually portrays us as bad students <laughs> <laughs> there was there's about 40 Alfie booklets did down there say, Alfie did say most of them were really good yeah it's a struggle to find those I bet <laughs> was it? <laughs> was it? <laughs> she does just enough to get by yeah. however she's not stretching herself do. enough Here. and this will have an impact in her exam results unless she begins to focus on all her attention on revising outside of class so this is the exact same teacher but for me, she said... No, no, you've got... Oh, no, Miss Sutton, down oh, here. Oh, yeah. So for the exact same teacher, she said, I am really pleased with the, enth with the enthusiasm and mature approach Joe shows in every psychology lesson. Joe is an, a as an able psychology student, and it is clear to me that he is studying outside of lesson time... <laughs> Which is what I was not doing. <laughs> ...to deepen his understanding of topics. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a game of suspend. It's Diane's turn. Yeah, don't don't drop it. Just let it go really slow. Go really slow. Bang! <laughs> Just let go of it. It might swing if you let go of it. Let go. You can let go of that now. That's done. That's done. <laughs> don't make me laugh. No, it's done. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'm not. Think about Joe's beaded necklace. Oh! Yes! <laughs> because you think about Joe's. <laughs> what? Oh my god. It's really hard. <gasps> oh. Wow. <Go> <laughs> Wow. Oh, well, you really have to be careful. Yeah. Okay, no more boundaries now. Well, you know what's gonna happen though? You two will just smash it. I don't have it. a green. Take one. Oh. No, Diane's got two. Yeah, go on then. Um, you two are gonna smash it. You've had so much practice. I've only played it twice before. Oh. 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 The gap is well. Guys, right, that green one. That's like on no. there by default. That's just it's been like pinned in. on. Did you not? Oh. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 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 well, I know what I would do. No, Come on, go one further yes, back. Yes, Diane, oh. that's a great oh. idea because then you're locking in the other one as well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, very welcome. Okay. That one. Yes, yes, yes. Bloody one. hell, yes. Blue. Blue. Blue, blue. Joe's getting blue. close, guys. Yeah, actually, it's again against you two. Me and Alfie have absolutely no hope. Got it, got it. Got it. Oh my god, you do. 
He's, he's chuffed, he's chuffed with that one. Yo. Yo. yo, 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 yo! Oh <laughs> oh <no. laughs> okay, to see the other side of the black. Yeah, it's a good oh shout, actually. Oh, <laughs> it counteract. Yeah, because there's Diane can put something up here. Hello. That blue's fallen off, though, Doc. No. Alfie's blue's gonna fall off. No, Alfie's blue's If that blue gone. was tucked behind that bit of black, it would <laughs> it's gonna fall off, it's gonna fall off, blue's gonna fall off. No, it's not. When it does. No, it's not. Look at oh. that. Look at that. Look my. At that. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Mm, hold it. That's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got to then commit to that one now? Orange. If you get orange. <gasps> it's orange! It's orange! It's orange! But you've got to land the pressure. Piece. If you get this, you win. If you don't, you've got a lot of pieces. Oh. <laughs> you either win or lose. You, you win, win or, or lose. lose. If you get this. So. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, my word. Just let go and you've done it. Just let go and you've done it. <gasps> it's nice. It's going to it's gonna have. It's both holding the weight. Yeah, that's nice. Perfect, Dot. No, hang on. Just let go, you've done it. Go give it a little swing. Oh, <gasps> oh, <yes! laughs> oh my god! Yes! I got red. <laughs> Hello, guys. You join me tucked up in bed to end today's video. I feel like today has genuinely been the most Sunday Sunday ever. And it's felt like one of the longest days ever. What's the time? Half nine. It's only half nine. Yeah, it's not bad, oh, that makes me so happy. I thought you were gonna say like half 10, 11. I just feel like I got so much done today. You know, when you like just tick loads of mental boxes and then you just feel really good at the end of the day, you're like, and we also had a lovely day on top of that. Exactly, and we had such a nice morning with Poppy and Sean at the garden centre. Had an equally lovely afternoon slash evening with Joe and Diane. It's been real like family Sunday mixed in with like lots of housey chores and housey bits that I've managed to get done that just make me feel so like good. <laughs> like I love that I've been able to do that. Oh, especially because I haven't had a day like this in so long. Like it's been like months since I felt like I can like get on top of stuff. And yeah, there's still lots more to do, <laughs> but I feel like I've made a really good dent in it today. Um, and the house is just feeling a bit tidier and a bit more put together. So I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna end the video here tomorrow. I'm spending the day with Mark. We are heading to HomeSense. We're gonna check out the Halloween section. So many of you have been messaging me saying like, Home Sense have got its Halloween section in and um, don't I know it and I'm off I'm going I know it's August but let's be real you guys all know how much I love Halloween so and you've got to get in there early with this stuff in Home Sense Joe and Diane bought some earlier they're on it <laughs> I need to make sure it's not gone <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you again tomorrow with Mark night